Hi, my name is Morris Leeson. I am joining you from Family Tree Live, where we've had a very successful day doing a, a series of DNA lectures. I was chairing the lectures. I gave one lecture myself, and that was on finding long-lost family with DNA, a topic that I am very passionate about because I have had uh, experience of working with a variety of different adoptees and helping them get reconnected with their birth families. My uh, top tip for uh, anyone who wants to get involved in looking for uh, lost family, long lost family, would be to test with Ancestry. Um, it has the largest database and then simply download your DNA results to the other websites. So download them from Ancestry, upload them to Family Tree DNA, My Heritage, Living DNA, and GEDmatch. And that way you are swimming in five gene pools for the price of one, and you never know in which pool you will catch the big fish. Um, DNA is a fantastic uh, tool that we have, and we need to protect it. It's a very, very powerful tool. Um, it's been used to help adoptees, to help foundlings reconnect with their birth families. Now it's being used also to help law enforcement agencies find uh, serial killers, um, rapists, and also uh, identify uh, people who have been dead for a long time and whose names were not known, so unidentified human remains. Um, and this is um, a great social advance and it's something that we almost have a moral ob obligation to see that is done properly and that is protected in a way that it will be there for future generations to come. So there will be risks associated with this new technique and those risks need to be uh, char characterized, they need to be minimized and neutralized to the best of our ability so that we can actually continue to the use this tool in a way that is socially responsible and that achieves the greatest social good. Now, um, the power of DNA has just continued to blow my mind um, over with, with even with my own family tree research. So uh, one of the things that I discovered recently myself is that I'm something like the 10th or 11th cousin to uh, Prince Harry. And when I discovered this, I was joking with various people, um, anyone who would listen really, telling them that I was Prince Harry's um, cousin and I might get invited to the wedding. And um, one time I was at St. Patrick's Day party with the Irish Georgian Society and the lady that I was telling this to, she said, well that's very interesting because I'm going to the wedding and I have a free ticket. So I was this close, but I was doing a tour of Australia. So she said, well you can't come because you're doing that Australian tour. Oh well, never mind, I'll find someone else. So that's how I became almost at, Saint, at uh, uh, Harry's wedding. And that's my um, own little personal anecdote. I'm the 10th cousin of Princess Harry. Who would have known? <laughs>